it, it's a uh, it was a fun place to be. Well, New York was sort of different. It was like uh, I think I had too many expectations of New York as well. We saw oh, New York, you're gonna love it. It's the greatest city in the world. And, no, and, it's not. and it, it turned out that it just you know it was it was it was, it was cool and it was it was New York and you're like oh yeah first few days you're walking around with your iPod and it's like soundtrack of New York and it was great <laughs> but um, I really I really appreciated the number of streets though to get into castings that was, was useful I did I did a lot better there though I did uh, I did DKMY and Ducky Brown and Band of Outsiders my first season so I was like hey this is great this is where I need to be getting work, having a bit of fun. We were staying in this great apartment in Brooklyn, so that was all great. But it wasn't, it didn't have, like, when, I went, when I went to Milan, there was sort of a, so I guess I still can't describe it, it's like an otherworldly, you know, European, it, it was just a classically European magical fun. New York didn't have that. It was a uh, great city, but maybe not my cup of tea, and so perhaps that's why I got more work, because I was more focused on getting to castings, you know, holding that down. Milan, I was just sort of wandering around, looking at everything. I, uh, I definitely wasn't that successful in Milan. I didn't do any shows. I did some showroom stuff and looks for a few days, which made some money, which was nice, but uh, didn't get any shows. I sort of felt, maybe came back to the personality thing. I like to talk, and I feel like I'm a pretty sort of open, outgoing sort of person, and I think being able to speak English to all the casting directors and uh, designers, that helped when I went to New York because I was able to relate to them quicker. New York was a little more a little more lucid in terms of when you went to a casting. It didn't feel as sort of rigid and sterile. You went to a casting in Milan and these huge, huge lines and some foreign casting director sort of shouted, NEXT! And, <laughs> and you come in and uh, they sort of scour at your book briefly. And, <laughs> I've heard that. and, uh, and then, uh, you know, we walk, please. And, then <laughs> and you walk and say, okay, thank you very much. And, and that's it, right? When they were dealing with their work, they were very, very caught up in their work and very serious and it came off as being cold. And, but at the end of the day, it was, you know, amore, you did good today. Uh, uh, you know, you went, if, you, if you went and you asked them for a cigarette or something, it was, of course, of course. <laughs> and, and so the minute they weren't working, they were very sort of receptive. I think the thing I find about the, the male modeling, I mean, obviously I'm not a girl, I haven't experienced that side of the industry as much, but I found that the, there's a lot less competition amongst the guys and so it becomes a more copacetic and fun environment. Cause it's every... more com camaraderie. Definitely, I think. And it's, uh, it's, uh, I don't know what it's like, but I, f I feel with the female side of the industry, there definitely is this, like, you're my competition, I'm not gonna talk to you. But with guys, it's like, you get the job, I get the job, we still go and have a beer afterwards. So now I've got, you know, friends in England that I met in Milan or whatever, and it's, and it's just kind of neat, and you end up somewhere, and you're all going out, and so-and-so's in town for the week, and it's fun, and it becomes just sort of a big group of people. I mean, I'm not even, I haven't even done too much work or traveled much, but I still feel like it's, uh, it's a fun thing, to, it's a fun way to live, and I think that's why I'm interested in continuing doing it.